And the part of their life that is interesting and compelling is you know, the internet over which they range freely and engage in battle and, you know, they fall in love increasingly and whatever else they do. And so my point is that that is a distortion developmentally. It misleads the mind into misunderstanding what is necessary. If you take the postmodern rules of the internet and you now impose them on politics in the real world, you get crises. You get the basic structure of civilization coming apart in front of our eyes, which I really believe that it is. Right? With the homelessness crisis in the U.S., for example, is jaw dropping, and um, we have a particularly acute crisis on the West Coast in the U.S. that appears to be the result of people being utterly compelled of their own political beliefs to an extent that even as those beliefs are failing around them visibly, they just double down. So um, imagining that people who think the internet has primacy are now exerting a force to correct the real world in the direction of their naive internet understanding of things are um, in danger of crashing the the aircraft. And in some sense, people like you and me are responding to what they're saying about how we should restructure the real world and saying, that doesn't make sense. It won't work. It is going to put us in grave danger. It is going to disrupt essential things. And uh, you know there are those who can hear us, and we are popular with those who can hear us. And then there are those who regard our uh, pointing out the obvious as a danger to their program who are intent on silencing us. And 